Welcome back, our dear viewers, in the World Youth Forum in its fourth edition. The President highlighted the importance of the civil society organizations and he declared the year 2022 to be the year of uh, civil society organizations. To shed more light about the role of the civil society organizations and more, we are very much delighted to be joined here in the studio by Dr. PhD Shahira Gayar. She's an expert in change management and developing human capabilities. Good morning, Dr. Shahira. Good morning to you. Dr. Shahira, what uh, does it mean by qualifying the young people for the labor market? To, to start with, um, the labor market is not one thing. There are different sectors, different areas of, uh, of uh, businesses. Um, so uh, NGOs or the civil society are targeting uh, in the beginning the, the very simplest human capabilities and skills mm. for the labor market like um, common things like uh, computer literacy uh, decision making for higher uh, positions and things like that mm. um, what we mean by preparing or uh, human uh, humans for uh, the labor uh, market is targeting certain skills mm -hmm. and knowledge uh, where they will be able to join the uh, the labor market in its different sectors. Indeed. What are some of the qualifications, uh, Dr. Shahira, which are required for the different job uh, types? Well, uh, we are talking about uh, many qualifications. Um, mm. It depends on the job or the, the, the demand in the labor market. Uh, for example, uh, in, uh, in the field of oil for industry, for mm -hmm. example, or in tourism, we need more uh, capable and trained uh, people to yeah. deal with tourists, especially that we are picking up uh, the post-COVID, uh, uh, you know, um, again, con consequences of COVID. Uh, Tourists need to be treated in a different way, so we are uh, training people how to, to, to express more hospitality, more compatibility, more uh, uh, skills related mm -hmm. to the industry, for example. Mm -hmm. um, things like um, the post-COVID uh, jobs that are being created because of COVID, distant learning, online learning, mm -hmm. online conferencing. Uh, online uh, even interviewing yeah. uh, so we are training people to do this um, other jobs like even delivery yeah. um, uh, online shopping has boomed yes. in the last so two years can we, we say here uh, Dr. Shahira that uh, the post COVID was uh, different than the pre-COVID in the uh, types uh, of jobs that were booming or uh, we have seen here a quite dramatic change in some uh, jobs. Definitely. Mm. Uh, for example, um, a company like Amazon, it's a mega uh, entity. Uh, it, it's, it's, its worth has uh, increased by billions. Uh, and this meant hiring more people mm -hmm. who are capable of receiving orders and delivering orders. Such people mm -hmm. are uh, being trained. Why am I talking about this? Because uh, similar entities have established new branches in Egypt because we mm -hmm. are a vast market. We are a promising market. So they are starting, uh, they started hiring Egyptians and mm -hmm. training them for uh, such jobs that depend heavily on uh, online services and online operations mm. uh, this uh, this is mainly uh, this is the main change that mm. happened in the labor market also there are jobs that are now obsolete they do mm. not exist anymore because of the post covid uh, features of uh, the labor market and uh, the demand of uh, people, uh, consumers, even businesses, B2B, um, mm. businesses even have changed dramatically. Mm. Uh, there is a very uh, significant job uh, that has been, uh, you know, uh, created or is uh, newly born because of the COVID-19. Uh, it is uh, a virtual secretary. Mm. 
Hmm. And that's very beneficial for people like me and other things who don't need a full-time secretary or who need to have their jobs uh, or their, uh, their errands and jobs done without having a person in office yeah. uh, running things. Mm. Uh, doctor, what are some of the important workshops that were provided for the youth? And uh, I would like to highlight here that also there were workshops about the startups here and the entrepreneurship, which is um, taking a great um, role here or a great attention from the Egyptian leadership. Uh, well, uh, entrepreneurship especially has greatly evolved in the last two or three years because of because of COVID and most of it is depending on uh, again online services online shopping a lot of companies and entities were established mm -hmm. um, using this uh, facility uh, also we have uh, jobs like um, mm -hmm. you know what, what how do we express that uh, jobs that are uh, highly dependent on uh, serving these new uh, businesses this new entrepreneur uh, business mm. courses are being uh, delivered uh, on the job training is being delivered mm. software is developed to serve mm. such jobs or entrepreneur uh, businesses mm. Um, the culture itself, most of the young people, most of the graduates uh, uh, are um, considering not having a, a, a regular job uh, mm -hmm. 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of young people uh, are um, making, are together starting a, a small business of their own. Mm -hmm. Others are starting an entrepreneurship uh, and it's uh, booming. Uh, how do you see the reactions here of the world youth in the forum uh, concerning the uh, workshops and uh, or the discussion that were taking place during the fourth edition of the forum, which is the first indeed after the COVID uh, pandemic? Uh, the workshops are um, IT and uh, AI uh, oriented. Mm. Uh, indeed, yes. Uh, um, Pretty much, in a way. But uh, what this is not uh, new, but the, the majority of the workshops are uh, emphasizing on the importance of using uh, mm. technology, IT, and in, uh, using uh, artificial uh, intelligence in, uh, in mm. business and its applications. Um, uh, what's really good is the interaction. Mm. People are really receiving it, the youth, I mean, are receiving it well. Mm. Uh, and... Um, uh, awareness of the importance of this uh, is uh, is is really significant you know uh, we are supposed to be now in a not, not in the ai uh, era mm. but we are uh, ai is already uh, being established and applied in many mm. businesses um, uh, the 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 nice surprise was that we have uh, some youth that are very aware that we are post AI. We are uh, ideas and thoughts uh, era in business. Yeah. People are just selling ideas. Yes, using AI. Indeed, uh, doctor. Uh, the role here of the state empowering youth and qualifying them for the labor market. How do you see this role here? Um. The organization and allocating resources is much better. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a vision, uh, not separate training programs, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the stereotype of uh, soft skills mm -hmm. uh, training. Uh, training programs are um, specialized programs oriented towards certain skills and capabilities. Uh, it's not only um, allocating time and resources uh, just to, uh, um, you know, snap shot that we are training youth for, for the labor market. Uh, we have a vision. Mm. The modern technology and its role here in providing a creative and more innovative uh, content. How, how do you evaluate that, uh, Dr. Shahira? Um, using technology is definitely uh, uh, yes. developing. Um, young people are uh, fast learners. Mm -hmm. uh, they are. Uh, they were born in the millennium. Are are born in an era of, of IT. So they pick up 
whatever uh, mm. apps are offered them more uh, e easier and uh, uh, quicker um, smarter uh, so uh, it's not only uh, delivering knowledge mm. uh, it's very delightful to see how uh, it is uh, you know um, changing from just delivering knowledge mm. uh, to becoming a skill becoming an attitude in business and uh, they are very much aware uh, 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 about the difference between uh, mm. um, learning technology as mm. a, a target just to have a certificate that I had this training and using this technology and applying it in uh, ideas and uh, small businesses, mm. entrepreneurs, small partnerships. Indeed. Uh, uh, finally, Dr. Shahira, uh, how do you see the forum here contribution in spreading the awareness among the young people? Young people are, you know, uh, surfing and exploring and probing all the time from um, um, social media uh, sites, applications, and the, wor the, 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 the reviews are, uh, are very effective in such things. So once somebody writes uh, a positive review and it spreads, uh, it definitely uh, spreads uh, awareness. So the using of t the use of technology and uh, social media um, is well managed. Indeed, uh, Doctor PhD Shahira Gayar, our expert in change management and developing human capabilities. It was really a very good uh, pleasure, uh, indeed to have you uh, with us and uh, thank you very much for your presence. Thank you. thank you. And with that, our dear viewers, we come to the end of this edition of The Bet The Show, brought to you live here from our studios on Night International by my dear colleague, Mohammed Abdurrahim and myself, Maestro Rabia, signing off until tomorrow with another cruise. Goodbye.